Hey, welcome back to Azure Fun Bites. My name is Jay Gordon. Today we're going to talk containers. Let's get into it. You may have worked with virtual machines to deliver your application, but do you really need to manage all that underlying OS and dependencies? By using containers, you can create environments for your applications that are isolated from the actual computer or node that's running them. There's no hypervisor like Hyper-V or VMware. Containers can be run anywhere, on your local computer, in a data center, or even in the cloud, like Azure. Docker is a tool for building images for your containers, allowing you to package and share them in registries. Registries act like repositories, just like we keep our code in. Registries act similarly to our code repositories, giving us a place to track our changes and then eventually deploy from. I'm Eric St. Martin, one of Microsoft's cloud advocates. When you get past the hype, containers are just highly configured applications that allow you to control how much of a given system resource that the application can consume, as well as what system resources that the, the application has access to. The real power of adopting containers is how they lend themselves to reproducible builds, simplified packaging and distribution, and the resiliency guarantees that we get from using things like container orchestration. Utilize services for on-demand containers like Azure Container Instances. Deploy complex distributed applications via Azure Kubernetes Service. Or even build web and API-based applications with web app services and get fully hosted web apps with SSL auto-scaling and all the other features integrating your container with the rest of Azure. You can see even more documentation in the link below. Go ahead. Click that now, get up to $200 in free Azure credit. Once again, I'm Jay Gordon, and I'll see you next time on Azure Fun Bites.